Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you guys tools, parts needed for basic maintenance uh, to perform a basic maintenance on Toyota and Lexus vehicles. Uh, in this video you will learn everything you will ever want to know about their basic maintenance, about the oil, filters, engine filter, uh, tools, basic tools that you need, cabin air filter and engine air filter. So these are the that's the purpose of my video and uh, down below in my description there will be a link where you can buy certain parts basic maintenance parts for your uh, Toyota or Lexus vehicles uh, and every week I'll be adding more parts list for each specific Toyota or Lexus vehicles I will start with Toyota Camry and everything will be for from that year from one year to another year you know everything that you would need to get to do a basic maintenance so let's start with the uh, basic things before you are gonna go oil you know this is the oil that I'm using this is the brand that I'm using this is the only brand I recommend people it's a hundred percent synthetic motor oil uh, if you want to know more about it there is a there is a video on my channel you can learn more about why I recommend 100% synthetic well because it's the best oil out there you probably think well best because I say or best because it's not because my personal opinion it's been tested in the lab and here is the lab results here is the lab results M soil versus other brands and there is a video on my channel where you can learn more about it you can see right there performed by a third party lab independent lab so it's not just a M soils uh, marketing tool but it's the fact you know what I mean so check out my other video where you can learn more about this this is the reason why <clears throat> uh, because and these are the two particular uh, oil weight 0W20 and 5W20 are the common ones used in Toyota Lexus vehicles uh, some vehicles they don't even require you to have a synthetic for example 5W30 can be used just a regular oil but if you want the best protection for your engine well you gotta use 100% synthetic oil not just a full synthetic because full synthetic and 100% synthetic they are not the same thing they're two different things so that's the one thing oil because you know when you spend 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand on a vehicle you want to last for as long as possible and you probably think, why would Toyota recommend this? Well, why Toyota does not recommend 100% synthetic? They're not interested uh, in, and they're not interested seeing people keeping their cars more than five years. Because if people are gonna drive their cars for 20, 30 years with trouble free, no problems, well, they're gonna be out of the business. So that's the reason, it's money. So everything is designed to just to get you about through the warranty so uh, that's one thing engine oil transmission oil Toyota uh, ITF WS their transmission fluid works in their vehicle does it provide the best protection of course not does it engineer to provide the best protection of course not of course not cost let me get, go back to the motor oil the cost of this is about the same as mobile or any other Benz oil brand of oil you would buy. You can actually buy M soil up to 25% cheaper than you can get uh, mobile or Benz oil. Cost of WS is less than M soil. This is what I use in my cars. I don't use WS anymore. I use only M soil products. The, I can get them cheaper at a lower price by signing up on their website up to 25% and M soil ATF provides better protection than Toyota WS their product and here is the proof and also you can uh, get more information on my website details because I have listed posted videos in my personal review personal experience not sure if camera can pick it up there is a stamp on a clutch on a disc not sure maybe maybe not but there is a stamps and this is the information from it's available on their website uh, because uh, they ran in a car 
they had their, uh, their fluid uh, I'm sorry, fluid in a vehicle for 180,000 and after 180,000 this was the result the, cl the clutches the discs clutch on the vehicle didn't even wear out even the stamp there's a stamp number that is still visible and the reason why it's visible after 180,000 because well the fluid provided best protection possible can you get the same thing out of the Euro WS fluid of course not their fluid does not even come close in terms of providing best protection for your transmission it works but it's not the best for something to be the best it has to be tested in the lab so that's one thing filters there is a OEM filter made in Thailand and there is aftermarket filters so or back in 90s Toyota filters uh, were good for like three Toyota was recommending oil changes every 3,000 then later they decided well how about we change to 5,000 so here is the filter you know this is the filter and if you want more details about this you can get it on my uh, channel I have details so the reason why this is not it works but it's not the best it's only provides 51% uh, efficient what I mean by 51% efficient meaning because this top right here it's a hard and when the metal surface touches inside the oil filter housing it you know metal against hard against hard it does not seal well plus this this material on the filter is not synthetic and does not provide the protection for your engine that you need it it does works and it gets you through the warranty you know what I mean so the filter is designed to so you get through the warranty and after the warranty expires they don't care they want you to be in a the shop they want you to be buying a new car or replacing engines it's more money for dealership for more money for Toyota so this is the factory it's not the best if you want the best you gotta go with uh, aftermarket and the only aftermarket filter that I would recommend and why do I say it's only 51 it's been tested so right there Toyota versus M soil so this is the difference hey, you people might you might think you know what I mean is it safe to use this M soil filter it is safe to use it's, it's been tested and the reason why I say it's safe because Toyota makes very similar their own TRD oil filter better than the factory and it's efficient at 20 at 98 percent msoil is 98.7 so efficiency means meaning it removing the dirt so 51 percent of dirt is being removed by the factory 98 percent by trd in 98.7 almost 99 percent by msoil and if you want to see how it looks like and how it's different uh, than factory uh, check it out my other videos I just don't want to make this video too long and complicated so this is the reason it works it's not the best the only filters that I use in my cars are M soil filters M soil products because this it's the best stuff you know what I mean why would you want to use something that only filtrates your oil at 50 percent you know 51 percent and the rest of it it just has been circulated and you know unfiltrated oil damages internals uh, Toyota recommends under normal conditions 10,000 with synthetic oil and non-synthetic oil 5,000. Well, it's the same product media this here that's been used in 90s in the regular filters, cartridge, uh, not cartridge, the can style. What I mean, can style, uh, let me show you. So, this is the filter that most of the people are familiar they've been used in 90s and early 2000s and Toyota I think they're no longer using this type of filters inside of those type of filters is just the same material as here it's just cheaper for Toyota to make it so they you know they'll charge you same price as this but costing them less and they'll make more money so the filter the media hasn't changed much it's still non-synthetic but Toyota says it's good for 10,000 and people will say, you know what I mean? Well, and don't, don't don't the engineers know? Don't they don't they know what works the best? Well, here is the thing you gotta keep in mind: if engineers were allowed to create and develop the products, 
best from best to be the best well many people would not be able to afford them so this is designed with intent to be affordable and to provide some level of protection for your engine and uh, and to get you through the warranty period and after warranty expires well they don't care so oil filters If the original Toyota filter was a best stuff or best product for Toyota's engine, then Toyota would not have developed a synthetic oil filter. This is a synthetic oil filter. And let me show you. So as you can see, it's different color, it's in different uh, material made. We have O-rings at the top, that's why they're more efficient than the regular ones that just have hard plastic on the top. So this is the reason why sometimes people believe that you know aftermarket. Yes, not everything aftermarket is it works. Not everything aftermarket works best for your vehicle. These products are been tested, and there is a proof. You know what I mean, right there. Real numbers. These are the products I only would recommend either factory or M soil, or even TRD. You know what I mean, uh, because. It's not worth, you know, engines are expensive, cars are expensive. It's not worth buying cheap, cheap stuff when it comes to oil filters, when it comes to engine oil, and when it comes to transmission oil. It's not worth buying cheap products. Spend more, buy what's been tested and known to provide the best protection for your engine, for your, uh, engine and your transmission. Uh, oil filter wrench so there is two types there is a six and eight cylinder and there's a four cylinder these are for the cartridge type oil filters what I mean cartridge is for those type of filters then you have for the older older regular filters you have this type of wrench very good product I've been using this for like 12-15 years now excellent product removes any filters besides the cartridge type you know the newer cars uh, one more thing socket size 14 socket this will remove your drain bolt on all on Toyota and Lexus vehicles it doesn't matter what basically year and the model it works for all of them size 14 a washer for the drain bolt there will be a link for all of these parts where you can buy them this is for your transmission uh, this is for newer vehicles that use WS transmission fluid. It's a hex size 6 uh, ratchet. This ratchet is a gear wrench. Personally like it, very comfortable ratchet. Excellent product. So that's one thing. Uh, when it comes to cabin filter, there's a lot of different cabin filters. Uh, a lot of them, different makes, brands, shapes, uh, what works the best. In reality, I tried all of them. I tried expensive, I tried cheap, cheap stuff, and basically it only is, it only, they only good for one year. Because they filtrate the air, you know. Air could be dry, air could be uh, wet, so they go bad basically one year. After one year, they become hard and brittle, and they don't even do the... What they were supposed to be doing for trading the air so so in my opinion it's not worth spending money buying uh, high-end filters because they only last a year so go with cheaper not the cheap cheap stuff because cheap cheap stuff it's very cheap it's it's not doing much of filtration but it will work it doesn't hurt to buy even cheap cheap stuff so engine filter engine air filter that was, this was a cabin air filter engine filter there's a lot of brands makes to make them uh, I'm using Vex brand it's a pretty good brand and I can buy them at a discount price and there will be a link down below in my description where you can buy them on MSOL website at bestoutoffluids.com and again you can buy them at bestoutoffluids.com on my website uh, it doesn't matter actually which brand 
you know, cheaper brand, more expensive factory. Uh, they will serve the same purpose, they'll filtrate. Seems to be that product material that they made of, they're about the same thing. I haven't seen any differences. One thing I would recommend is staying away from lifetime filters that are being oiled, pre-oiled. Those filters will cause damage to your actual uh, your uh, electronics because upstream from the filters upstream, because the air comes from the bottom up, you have an airflow sensor. That sensor is designed to to read the flow of your air inside into the engine. And when you push in a dirty air or air that is oiled, has oil in it, it will uh, create a buildup and that sensor will stop working properly and will you get a check engine light. That sensor it costs about 300 to an upward cost. So stay away from oil filters that are, that are designed for life. Buy cheap, cheaper products, regular, non-oiled. Uh, replace them, uh, how often should it be able to replace? Replace them every year or every two years, depends how much you drive. So you put 10,000, just inspect once a year. And if you put more than 10,000 a year, you know, then inspect every six months, seven months, and see how dirty it is. Because I notice sometimes I can get two years. It just depends where I drive and, uh, and what con weather conditions and how many miles I put. Because factory I think says 20 or 30,000. Well, in 20 or 30,000, it's going to get pretty dirty. You know what I mean? I it just because you don't want to go that far unless you inspect it and it's clean. So that's what it is. And all those parts for each specific car will be, they will be listed in my description down below. So if you're interested, subscribe to my channel and enjoy.